Hello, this is Iron Bill back again with another video. Uh, I'm going to start tonight by saying that um, PvP in Destiny 2 when it works is fun and when it doesn't it really isn't and it's a bit of an uneven experience uh, because of that. Now I'm showing you on uh, the board here or on the screen a bit of the results of the match previous to the one I'm going to show you and this is pretty much the way it was going when it wasn't complete blowouts. It was um, and, and I was in a lot of blowouts today, and it is what it is, okay? I'm not going to go on about that, but uh, we got caught in this loop, and I don't quit out. I just want to say that over uh, again, but it got caught in, in this loop where it was this same combination of players for like three or four matches in a row, and my team was putting up a good effort, but, you know, we kept losing by a significant amount. I mean, this is basically 80 to, to 152, so we're, we're, we're losing by 70 points and they kept throwing us in the same match oh well and that's why on the screen it says sucks they won't break this up and he's like you know it, it's time to move on from this you know one or two matches you know if they should because used to what they would do is they would shift to players so the the person you played against a moment ago might be on your team this time and and sometimes it has a way of leveling things out and and it just didn't i mean they just kept putting these people back on the same team and it was more or less the same results you know just over and over so uh, it's, a, it's a bit of a shame, um, but that's the way it goes. Now, that having been said, my play personally was okay. I mean, I wasn't knocking it out of the park or anything like that, but if I can get 20 defeats, you know, and then a 1.54 efficiency, I guess I'm, I'm doing about as well as I would probably do. I uh, didn't get a lot of zone captures this time, though, so uh, yeah. It, and you notice they didn't move a lot. I mean, once they got it locked down, they had it locked down. We just could not break into it, so... Uh, you can see what the rest of my team did there as opposed to theirs. It's clearly unbalanced, you know, uh, and and yeah, it's just too bad that it goes that way. But uh, what I want to do is just progress this forward a little bit. Obviously, I was Hunter. I wound up on Rapacious Appetite and uh, Doom of Chelchus again. I like that combination with the um, Gil, Gil, Gil Falcons. I think it's Gil Falcons Halberg right here. And I really leverage invisibility when I play. So uh, here we go. I think this, uh, it's Radiant Cliffs. So let's get into the play. I don't know how to make that text go away on uh, Steam. You know, sometimes it will and sometimes it won't. It's a very inconsistent thing. It's annoying after a while, though. Alright, I decided to go straight for B and just have a look at, you know, what's what. And I messed up there. If I had started off with the Doom, I would have had two shots on him before he could have ever moved. He would have been volatile. He would have died right away. So we're going to take this zone. This is actually a good start. Now, typically what's going to happen here, uh, once you take B, uh, folks are going to run up some, from C and this is indeed what they do. Now, I, I, I felt that shoulder charge coming. And I think he had Peregrine Greaves because of the way he was coming at us. He was looking for a knockout. Going to move towards C just because uh, if they've got A, we need to keep taking zones and we need to defend heavy. We've got two guys here. Unfortunately, I'm squishy. I'm really hurt. And my recovery is low, so I can't re engage right away. I shouldn't, anyway. I do. I see a grenade launcher there. I know I'm going to die to that, but I've got to defend that heavy as best I can. And unfortunately, their whole team is pretty much there for the heavy. And this is, I think, where the tide turns early for us. Now they've got the heavy. And that's one of the things I hate about uh, the way I've got my keys set up. I want to come out of that invisibility with a void weapon, but what it does is it swaps weapons for me. So I come out of it and I can't, since I don't see the weapon, I don't immediately know, you know, what I'm holding. And I left the guy volatile, but his off stringer is pretty strong and his game was good. And I can't duel with a, a scout rifle against a hand cannon at that range. It's just not going to work. They're going to get C, so they've got zone advantage at this point. And the early lead we had is already beginning to dissipate. Can't quite see him there, but I don't necessarily want to jump up. Got the numbers, though, so I'm going to go into it. 
The guy with the uh, grenade launcher was giving me all kinds of grief. I'm going to chase this guy down. I'm going to get taken out by that guy, I think. Nope. Apparently not. But I'm still weak. Okay, I've got about 40% of my health. Invisibility. I've got to get in the game here. we got to try to take B back. And there goes the lead. That's what you want right there. You want that invisibility to come off and then have a void weapon ready. So, now here we are. We've, we're still two zones down. And you can hear those grenade launchers just going off. And they're all around. I've got him volatile, but there's no way in the world. They're all over me. I didn't see the guy loop around. So I got pinched. Okay, so I hear the fight going on, on the back side of B there. I'm hanging here for just a second in case somebody breaks through and goes for the zone. Because it's our only zone. I don't want to be power played. And once again, I kind of juke this guy. But I'm not going to be able to stick in that fight with the damage it just took. Missed on the grenade. Now this is where I want to be using the scout. But I can't stay. I got a guy to the left there now. I didn't see him in time. He got me. That's the Ostringer guy again. Now I make a couple attempts to get in here. And that's just a smoke. I make a couple of attempts here. But the Ostringer game is just too tough. He had a, I think it was a warlock with a... He had a well going on there. And, uh, you know, I just had too much going against me. I go in here, I think, one more time to give it a shot. And he just eats my lunch again. I, see, I can't quite get him with... If that was an immortal, I would be winning that fight. It's not... Uh, I actually think my... Uh, Strand submachine gun is better, and I may be switching back to that because that probably would have taken him down. This one's just not quite doing the job. They got heavy again, loaded a sword at tree. I'm gonna back out. I'm gonna see if I can jump up here and get him, and my teammate already has. We gotta be careful because they are where they are. I've got my super, and I'm just looking for the best place to use that. And my teammate has done it with his super. So I, I need to recover for just a second playing the life. Typically, if you sit here, you're going to get a line on the back way here. This guy's trying to limit an arc. Then his buddy jumps up, and now I've got the numbers against me again. Run back towards B. Super. Super. Now, I know this guy's over here, and look what I'm holding. Instead of the submachine gun, instead of recovering my health, I jump out there with like 20% of my health and a scout. Of course he kills me. Easy kill for him. Alright, I know that he's coming. And this guy's gonna either push, yeah, push to the left. Need to back up a little bit. He's got the first shot. I am going to lose that fight. You can hear the jump. They're coming in force. This guy ducks behind the wall. Pops back out. I need to get back a little bit. Reset. And play the patient game. And what I'm waiting for is that guy to clear that wall there. But he doesn't, so I'm going to come back to B. we got a guy standing up on top of A, kind of watching it. We'll try for B again. It's still a close enough game. You know, we've got a chance. And I didn't even see where that guy came from. I'm going to reset, try to get a little bit different angle. And I realize I got something coming from my right. We put it on him. I'm gonna back up. And he's of course in a super, and there's no way in the world I'm getting out of this. 
And this is where it really started to turn. We were an even match here now. 110 to 108. Uh, it's back and forth. It's a good match. We need to get B, but uh, without numbers, I know that Mr. Ostranger is probably sitting there in a well. It's worse than I thought. And he is indeed there. I'm going to lose that fight if I stay. I mean, there's just no question about it. And so I'm not going to stay. He's coming to the left. And there's one to the right. He got the first shot. So I'm going to have to recover. He's in a well. He's going to, you know, he's going to come. Enemy almost won. And we managed to pull him down out of his super. I'm going to try. Got a teammate. We got a pretty good chance. You captured zone B. You have zone advantage. And see, right there, I need to have the scout out. Now, if I die here, we're finished for, for sure. Only one minute left. Four points. All right. Three points, but they've got the lead. I see the orbs down here. And the well. But we're giving up the zone. 142, 142. Now what we can't do is give up kills now. Because we are at a disadvantage. If we stay here and start keep picking them off, we can still win. But while we've got this, we need to make them come to us. And our friends in instead decide to go up there and feed kills. Which is unfortunate. Of course, the other team could have been smart and just sat there and waited for it all to die and then come for us, but um, we were collecting kills where we were, so eh, could have, should have, would have. Anyway, play-wise, I'm not unhappy with that. 22 and 3.14, uh, four captures. Yeah, that's that's fine. And my teammates played well, and, and at least the balance was a lot better. Five-point loss, close game, could have gone either way. Uh, nothing to complain about there. Now, do notice, though, that you've got FTK, FTK, CFAM, CFAM. So you've got a two-stack and a two-stack on the same team. That's double communication advantage, you know, for them. So, yeah, interesting, but that's how it goes. Uh, matchmaking will never be perfect, but it could be better. You know, that that is the truth. And I do not understand how the algorithm will put two fire teams of two on the same team at the relatively the same skill level. You know, so a little bit confusing. And if you look at it, how they finished up, that's a 1.3, 1.24. And this irritates me because I can't see, I can't compare. That's why I hate it, because this just gets in the way and stays in the way. Uh, oh, well, anyway, you, you get the point I'm trying to make. So um, my play was better. My play has been better. I'm getting the hang of the hunter. It's a little bit more passive. I'm not as aggressive as I am with Arc Titan, but let's face it, Arc Titan, that's going away anyway. Or should I? You never know. You know, sometimes Bungie nerfs things and don't really nerf them, and so we won't really know how that comes out for a couple of weeks. But you know, uh, here's hoping that things fall into a little bit more balance uh, as time goes on. Not that it's not fun to play Arc Titan, and I do enjoy it, but um, you know, it, it it can be a it can tip the uh, scales a little too hard one way to say the least. So that being said, this is uh, Iron Bill thanking you for watching and signing out.